Hello everybody and welcome to a new series by me, Hacks. So um, you might be wondering why I'm here. For one, I wanted to skip most of the intro stuff. Um, and for two, because I'm not actually going to be using the starter. Um, I put an egg into my game using Pokegen, kind of like an egg lock. It is not an egg lock, actually. And uh, as you can see, my rival's name is Pen15. It's a Smosh reference, and actually I think they put a filter on this game, so you can't name your... Uh, your rival naughty things, so. So, yeah, I was gonna name him Wanker, but. Like, a little wanker. But, um, it, it didn't let me, so I named him Pin15. Um, so, yeah, basically, this is going to be a Black 2 randomizer Nuzlocke. And it is actually not randomized as I speak, so. Um, that's, that's a thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen. Okay, okay, so Yep, basically it's the beginning of the game. I have to go talk to this lady up here Which is obviously Bianca and I'm gonna be getting my new Pokemon That would be me um the bad thing about me playing a DS game Which is something I wanted to avoid is the fact that my PC um, Even though it's just an emulator it it doesn't run the DS emulator at full speed um, and sometimes it does like, right now, I think it's actually doing relatively well. Um, but... Normally... And I am actually going to be choosing, um, Tepig as my starter. This way, my rival still has an advantage against me. Um, and I apologize for any background noise. My brother is asleep, like, basically right behind me. So, that's a thing. Um, but... In case you're wondering what starter I chose, um, what starter I'm going to be using, um, uh, yeah, you named him Black for some reason, I don't know. Now you've got your Pokemon, so she gives me a Pokedex, so that's pretty cool. I got the Pokedex, I'm gonna kinda speed this up, but yeah, in case you're wondering, you will find out soon enough, so. So yeah. And then pen pen fifteen. I'm gonna I'm just gonna refer to him as penis. So I hope that's okay. So that's your partner, huh? That's great. So the thing is that the uh, Pokemon that I chose for my starter is actually not going to get the um, experience that I get from this battle, which is you know good and bad, good and bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say about that. Yep, so Bianca is like, oh, I have an extra Pokedex, I might as well give it to her. And then she's like, yeah, let's have a Pokemon, you guys should have a Pokemon battle. Since he has an Oshawa, which she apparently raised from an egg, and I'm like, dude, I'm not even gonna use this freaking Tepe guy I just chose, so it doesn't matter. And it is just the generic first uh, trainer battle. <laughs> actually, the first time I ever played this game, I lost it. Um, and actually, this is going to be a blind wedlock, um, pretty far into the, uh, um, well, not, I mean, not very far ahead. Um, the furthest I've ever gotten is Bird, and I lost to him. Um, and it was a Nuzlocke, so I didn't play on. And actually, I'm demolishing this Oshawa. So that's game over right there. He did, like, six, seven damage to me. So yeah, um, the starter I choose is not gonna get that extra, almost two levels, but that's okay. Um, I can, I can just train him off screen or something. I'm, I'm kind of upset I forgot to randomize it. <laughs> it's not good. Not good at all. Pokemon Center, let's go inside. I, I'm wondering, like, if I randomize it, it doesn't affect my egg, does it? I'll hatch the egg first. Hmm. PC. Um, this is basically, again, just generic uh, intro stuff that I don't need to know. So I'm just kind of speeding through it, and I hope you guys are excited for this um, new Let's Play, and hopefully I can actually do it. I put quite a bit of time into the layout, so I hope you guys like that. Um, I, it's not as flashy as it could have been, but whatever. Someone's PC? Withdraw? Hello? Pokemon? Did I do something wrong? Is he in my party or something? This is weird. 
Hold on. Hmm. Just give me a second, and uh, I will be right back. Alrighty. So, I, I just didn't load the correct file. So, yeah. That's that? Oh. Well, that worked amazingly well. And our starter for this game walkthrough playthrough will be... <gasps> An Auron. Yes. Yes, I would like to give a nickname. And the nickname is already pre-decided. And its name is Boss. Alright. Um, can I already buy Pokeballs? I can. I already have 10 though, so. I might buy some potions. Um, I'd like 5. And I also need to deposit, um, I, I nicknamed him B this time. Um, because of pure laziness, actually. Actually, I'll just release him, that way I'm not tempted to use him. Um, deposit. And he's level 1, uh-oh. Actually, no, I'm going to keep B then, because I'm not going to be able to um, train him up without without Tepig. So, um, yeah, I'll keep him for now. And um, I'm actually going to go pause it and try to randomize the ROM to see if it works the way that I hope it's going to work. So, yeah, be right back. All right, well, well we're back, and I finally got everything sorted out, so... Um, did I not? I didn't withdraw the egg. Yeah, I have to rehatch it. Um, basically, what I had to go back and do is completely play up back up to this point because I had to randomize the game um, and then get a save file and then put R on in. So it wasn't. It didn't take very long, but it's just kind of a hassle, I guess. But it should all be sorted out now. And um, this on is actually a male since uh, since I made it. I know for a fact that it's a male. Um, so basically, since this is a wedlock, and if you don't know the rules, um, I, I'm not exactly sure about all of them either, but basically, um, it's a Nuzlocke modified, and, um, basically what you want to do is, um, each Pokemon has a partner. Um, I don't think anything specific really happens when that partner dies, but, um, you have to get a new partner that fits the opposite gender, so, um, Aron is a male. I have the first Pokemon I catch on each on the next route coming up has to be a female. So if I run into a male, then I can try again for a female. Um, because then they make a pair. Then, however, um, and the rules are not gonna apply right away because I do have to train Aron up to like level five or six technically since Tepig is level six. So I'm gonna pause and do that once we get up to that route <clears throat> and after we catch the first Pokemon on it. Um, the first female Pokemon, that is. And when you're in the pairs, you cannot switch um, to other Pokemon outside of that pair when, when you're in battle. When you're outside of battle, like right now, I can switch my Pokemon all I want. But um, when, I, when you're inside of battle, you can only use technically two Pokemon. So you really have to strategize <clears throat> and make sure that you're, uh, you're leading with the uh, right Pokemon. Um, like, especially for a gym battle, because... Say for like because you can't always help what um you can't always help what pair you get like for instance I have no idea what Aron's gonna be paired with but it it's gonna be whatever it's paired with so for instance Aron <clears throat> resists fire well what if um but it, Aron is weak to water what if I get uh, a fire type because then then a, a water type it's just gonna kill me. Or what if I do get a grass type that, you know, resists water, but that grass type dies to like an ice beam, and then I have to send an Aron because I, I'm not allowed to switch out. So that's two Pokemon down off my team, and that's not a good time. <clears throat> and I think that's basically all the rules. I will be nicknaming everyone. Um, the rest of the rules are basically just like the Nuzlocke, aside from the modified um, few rules to make it hard. And obviously, it is randomized, so. I have no idea what I'm going to get, and obviously this battle right here isn't randomized because it, it is scripted into the game, and I guess Drayano couldn't mess with this, not, not Drayano, I'm so used to doing Drayano's hacks, um, I guess that you, um, the randomizer doesn't worry about the scripted battles, um, so, yeah, I mean, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty simple, um, but the first, 
a female Pokemon that I encounter is going to be the Pokemon that is going to be paired with Aron as soon as I train him up. So let's see what we can find on this route. Ooh, a Granbull. It's a male though. Alright, B. Well, get out of here. I guess I could fight the male Pokemon that we find. <clears throat> a Combi. Oh, it's a male. Alright. I should probably be leading with Auron. But I don't think a Combi is going to be able to kill Auron enough. Sweet scent? Yeah. Alright. I'm kind of wasting time here, but it is, it is the first episode, so I'll probably make it a little longer than normal. <clears throat> and again, I hope you guys do like the layout that I've worked with. It's kind of simple, but... Oh, well. Tackle. Should do quite a bit to this combi. Yep. I wish I could speed up a little bit more. But obviously, you know. I don't really control that. Boss grew to level 2. Awesome. Alright, well, let's put Boss up in front, actually. Ooh. There. What? What just happened? <laughs> Alright, there you go. Alright, Boss. Alright, well, let's try for a female Pokemon. If not, I guess we can kill it. Another Combi. Another Mega Combi. And I did actually modify his move pool, so if you want to look down, he has Tackle, Harden, and Metal Claw. Um, because I didn't think that... Auron learns any good moves, and Metal Claw is only like 50, uh, 50 <clears throat> power, so it's not super overpowered or anything, but um, I just kind of wanted to give a little boost since I'm not very good at Pokemon. Um, I just thought, I can use all the help I can get, I might as well give him a stab um, Metal Claw to kind of help out. And these gusts aren't doing a single thing because it's, uh, it's just a boss. He does have an impish nature, which uh, I believe raises defense and lowers like special attack or something like that. So that's pretty good. 30 XP. It's not very much for a freaking com from a, from that freaking combi, but oh, a dust clops. Holy crap! Oh, it's a female. Oh god. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it though. Pressure. I don't want it to kill boss. I mean, technically the Nuzlocke hasn't started, or the, the Wedlock, my bad, hasn't started because even though I do have, uh... Oh, I guess I have to do it with Auron. Uh-oh. Because Dustclops is a uh, ghost type. Alright, boss. Nightshade, uh-oh. No bueno. I do have some potions. Ooh, that did really good, actually. Guess I'll just harden up in case he has a physical move, which he does. How long does the, uh... I don't know how long the, uh... thing lasts. Not the bind, the, uh, disab disability. I mean, I have six potions because the lady going out to the root gave me one, so. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Am I still disabled? Come on. This is annoying. Come on, dust claps. Alright, it should be. Yep. Alright. Oh, it trains. I'm just gonna try to bear through it. Hold on. I just shut my window, so hopefully you guys can't hear it as much. Am I just going second? Did I miss? What's... Oh, okay, there we go. Whoa. What is that? What? What was that? Why the... Is that a thing that Metal Claw gives? I didn't know about that. Alright, we have ten Pokeballs to try to catch Dust Clops. So, hopefully, we can catch it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. We only have nine Pokeballs in this thing. It is pretty powerful, so I don't know. One. Ah. Uh, if I could hit it with a tackle, then I definitely would. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use another potion first. I wish it was healing, that way I could hit it with one more and it would just go down to red. But I'm pretty sure one more would kill it, and I can't kill it because it is a weblock. Oh, no. Bag. Pokeballs. Pokeballs. Come on, Dustclops. Don't you wanna be my friend? Don't you wanna be my friend? Oh, yes! Alright, we've got a Dustclops. That's actually amazing. And I do have trade evolutions um, disabled, so we can get a Duskenire. Um, it, it seeks drifting will-o'-wisps and sucks them into its empty bodies. What happens inside is a mystery. Huh. Beckon. Beckon Pokemon? God, I don't know what to name this thing. Actually, I, I know. I know what I'm going to name it. There's only one thing that you can name ghost types. <laughs> and that's Casper. Awesome, awesome. Okay. That's, that's great, actually. I'm going to go heal up. Actually, I'll cut it. Okay, guys. Well, after training up Aron, here, let me show you my team um, boss, I mean. Um, Impish Nature, like I said, especially a city. Um, Steel Rock type, which is actually really overpowered. I, he does have the Lucky Egg, but that's I'm, I'm going to take it off of him because it's kind of overpowered, actually. I mean, he learned Mud Slap, so he has a Rockhead ability, and his defense stat is looking nice and so is his attack stat for that matter um however um <clears throat> casper is gonna be hard to train up for now <clears throat> obviously he can't be hit by normal type attacks but with the randomizer um i just fought a tynamo and it had like only electric type attacks but we're gonna go ahead and release b so because we actually are not gonna need him at all Go up to B, and we're gonna. No. We're going to release him. Yes. Well, B, see ya. <clears throat> Alright, but yeah. And actually, boss is gonna be really, really great for the first gym, which is actually normal type, and I guess I could train up Casper there too. But for now, we need to move on to <clears throat> the next town, actually, which is gonna, which is gonna be cool. Um, but I can't believe we got a desk knight or dust clubs. I mean, it's gonna be awesome. There's another combi. I'm gonna switch in Casper. Casper doesn't really like. He doesn't really do damage because at this low of level, he's only doing three damage with Nightshade, and the bind isn't really a good move. And then see, Pokemon have moves that aren't. Um, I'm gonna use bind first see how much that does and see if it does more than three because night nightshade is just not effective at this point in the game and then we'll combine that with nightshade i think uh, sweet scent you're so annoying all you are is an animation to me and the bind Hurts it once, like, 1 HP every turn, which, you know, is helpful. At this stage, everything only has, like, 5 HP. And that's kind of a thing that Dustclops is probably beasting at, is it's, it has 15 HP at level 3. So. Alright, see, so, yeah, but it takes a while to kill things, as you probably saw. Uh, it's just kind of annoying. But I'm going to throw Casper up front, and I might even give him the lucky egg. Because, yeah, boss is already level 5, and item, give, uh, a lucky egg. Because Casper needs to be trained. Let's just leave it at that. Is this guy a trainer? I don't remember. Combi for days. I'm going to cut this combi battle out, but I'll be right back after I kill it. So I just look at looked at Dustclops's oops uh, move set, and I definitely got gypped out of its uh, starting moves. Um, it also could have started with all three of the uh, elemental punches and a move called Gravity, which I don't know what that does. But um, and then it could also learn Leer, Nightshade, and Bind, which ah such an unfortunate um, chain of events that it just so happened to get those three because any of these elemental punches would have been amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna leer this thing a few times. Actually, I'll cut this battle out too, guys. Ah, I looked more into Dustclops' uh, 
move set and basically he doesn't learn a good move until pursuit at like level 25 he does learn shadow sneak um at like 22 you that trainer um but and he also gets astonished soon but at this level um in the game most of the pokemon we fight are um normal type so that's not really good um, but Dusclops did get paralyzed in that Tynamo battle because that thing, that thing is crazy. All right, it has like Spark, Charge Beam, and uh, Tackle, and Thunder Wave. It's just kind of annoying. Uh, I just want to catch one more Pokemon. The next Pokemon we catch, um, its gender doesn't really matter because we already have one pair, which are these two, and so we can start the new pair with any gender. This is a nice plot of land you've got here. So we'll go up to Alder and he's like, Hey, this way, shall we start training? And then he's like, Oh, you need to deliver the town map? Well, okay. <clears throat> and then he's like, Yeah, this is the way to Route 20. Just go ahead. And so, basically, we can go up to Route 20 and take on our first trainer battle. So let's see what he's got. And of course it's a trap. The good news is he can't hit me though. And I can bind him. Oh, Nightshade doesn't actually, um... I thought Nightshade would work on normal types because... Oh no, oh. Because it does a set amount of damage, so I thought it would work. But apparently not. Oh well, that's fine. You can, bro, you can lure me all you want. In the end, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Cause we got so far. <laughs> yeah. Freed from the bind. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is such a long battle. Um, I, I wish the emulator would speed up just a little. But, whatever, I guess. Alright, and this should kill. Yep. 91 experience, holy crap. I guess it is a boosted experience from a trainer battle, so there's... And he should learn Disable at level 6, but he already had it, I think. Yeah, so, alright, I think it's time we, eh, I might leave the lucky egg on Dusclops just because he doesn't get any good moves, but I'm going to switch boss up in front because <clears throat> boss is our starter and he's a boss, so. Oh. Alright, trainer number two, what you got? I just realized that normal types can do absolutely nothing to my team, and it's amazing. Cause look at that, look at that damage. That damage that was absolutely nothing. Tackle for the kill and you're dead as balls. Alright boss, let's go. I am kind of lacking a balanced Pokemon. I mean I guess Dusclops is pretty balanced, he can be a physical attacker and he's also kind of a physical wall too I think physical wall it might be special wall I'm not sure sure I'm not sure but I know he's pretty bulky and I know he can deal out some damage too with uh, shadow punch and stuff like that so <clears throat> I guess he's relatively balanced but he, he's not gonna get any good moves anytime soon so that's kind of annoying but that's what we have boss for and it sucks that boss is stuck with uh, Dust clubs too. That Pokeball is just, I, I think it's just a Pokeball. Wait, did we miss the Pokemon on this route? Or did we not encounter one? Did we not encounter a Pokemon? I don't think we did. Alright, well, what's the first thing we can encounter? A Dawn Fan. Nice. Let's just go for a tackle. 
I'm kind of scared this thing's going to be able to hurt me. Horn attack. That's not going to do anything. Alright, one more tackle. Oh, bulldoze. That's what I'm scared of. <gasps> Boss. Ooh, no bueno. Uh-oh. Alright, Casper. Hang in there. Just a little more, Casper. Alright. Bulldoze. Still hits, but it does only three damage, so that's cool. Now we can start checking balls at this thing, so... Oh, Don Fan with Bulldoze. That's actually really nice. Especially for the second gym. I was assuming I would just use Auron with, like, Dig or something for the second gym, but Don Fan is even better. Oh, God. How many Pokeballs? I, I have nine Pokeballs. Okay. Let's hope we can catch this Don Fan. I've actually never used a Fanfi or a Don Fan, so that's really, really good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes! Oh. Alright. It attacks by curling up and then rolling into its foe. It can blow apart a house in one hit. It's the armor Pokemon. I thought that was Tyranitar. I guess Tyranitar is like a tank, armor tank or something like that. Pokemon. What's name for Don Fan? I think the game is permanently sped up. I'm pretty sure it is. Huh, that's weird. I don't mind it, but whatever. Alright, um, nickname. Um, I don't think I need that E. So Ellie. Ellie. Ellie the elephant. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up. And I'm actually digging uh Don Fan actually. And um, that's weird because I was just watching R Chisel's or, or not Arch Chisel, sorry, Hardy Tech Yo-Yo's Egglock, and uh, he has a fan fee. So that's pretty weird. I'm gonna stock back up on Pokeballs, because this being a randomizer, you never know what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna try to have 10 at almost all times. Uh, it's probably gonna end up being a waste of money, but... You can never have too much. That's what I always say. It's normally about drugs. <laughs> uh, meth. What a fun, what a fun drug. Just fucking kidding. That's totally a joke, by the way. Two Don fans. Go bounce. All right, boss. I'm going to switch Don fan up front, which is kind of risky because I can't switch into anybody else. But I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna take the item off of Casper. Give the item to Ellie. The lucky egg. This way. Um, I think I'll fight a, a few more things before I go catch something new. So, Sandshrew. What's with, what's with all the ground types on this route? I could probably actually cut this out. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. I think I'll train Ellie up a little bit. And then we'll be back and ready to catch another Pokemon soon. Be, our, be right back. <laughs> you guys will never guess what just happened. So I killed a Sandshrew. That, that one Sandshrew, right? And then the next Pokemon that popped up was a, nothing but a Rapidash. And obviously a Rapidash is going to give you a hell of a lot of XP. Especially with the uh, Lucky Egg. Oh, this thing has an adamant nature. Look at that attack stat. Oh my god. So I, I almost KO'd it in one hit with Bulldoze, and then um, its Ember only did like 3 damage, but I was only at like half health after the Sandshrew, so I wasn't worried about it, I was like, eh, it has a lower, its speed was lowered, I bet it'll still be way faster than a Dawn fan though, so, but I can easily take one more Ember, so I just went for Horn Attack, killed it, it did get the burn, but I still killed it, and uh, it got me all the way up to level 6, from 4, and it has a sturdy ability, nice. So yeah, there's this moveset down on the uh, bottom screen if you guys were curious about that. And I'm going to run to the Pokemon Center, and then we will be off to the ranch. Alright guys, we're back, and I did put Casper up in front so I can switch freely in between um, Boss and Casper. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and encounter 
a new Pokemon in this penis-shaped grass. Um, probably the last member we're gonna get in this episode, and it- oh, It's genderless. It's genderless. I'm not gonna count that. Cause that's- that's kinda weird. Uh, Cause I don't know how to do that. Because technically it can be either. So I'm not gonna count Ditto. I couldn't get away. What do you mean I couldn't? Bro, get away. Okay, let's try that again. I, I don't care if you guys think it's cheating or whatever. And uh, I think we're looking for another girl, right? Yeah. Ellie is definitely a guy. So. Even if he does kind of have a girly name. Cricketune and a guy. So. We can't, can't catch this thing, but might as well, might as well kill it for the uh, hell of a lot of experience it's going to give me. Oh, actually, that might take a while. I'll pause it. BRB. God, um, you just get so much experience with that lucky egg, and it's really, really helpful. It's going to make grinding in my world so much easier. And Azuril. That's a Pokemon you can actually get here in the game. There, maybe the randomizer just failed or something. But that's kind of interesting, I guess. A water type will be useful. A water fairy type. For those of you guys who don't know, Meryl is officially a water... Um, fairy type in the uh, next game in Pokemon X and Y. So Bubble is not going to do shit. Let's just go for a nice nightshade. Oh, it's normal type. I forgot. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. Oh well. We probably don't need to weaken this thing a whole bunch. I'll go for one more bind just to get it below hell or below half. Splash. <laughs> get out of here with your splash. It does seem to know bubble though, which is a good 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 news, I guess. If you want to be technical, at least it has a water move. Um I don't know what level this thing actually evolves at, so. But now Don Fan has something to uh kinda die with it <laughs> if it gets in a battle with a grass type. <laughs> the polka dot Pokemon. It swings its large nutrient-filled tail around to fight opponents bigger than itself. That thing is about as big as itself. Well, I guess in commemoration of uh, Pokemon X and Y, I will name it Fairy. Because Meryl. Alright. And then, um, how low is Casper? 1 HP. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to go ahead and walk this way. 10, 15. Oh, nice. You've come here to toughen up to you. Alright, let's see how much stronger you've become. Come at me, bro. That's actually what he said. He didn't say the bro part, but he said come at me. So, pretty cool. Um, the uh, actual trainer battle that is a real battle. Ooh, level 8. That's kind of scary, actually. I'm going to throw a whole bunch of leers down on this guy. Does he not have water gun yet? And I'm assuming bind is actually physical, so that's um, that's actually where I'm going with this, um, with the leers, to kind of speed up the process of this thing dying. Um, but I'm not 100% that it's physical or not. Eh, that did, uh, it, I mean, it did damage. Let's see how much 7 HP is to this thing. Eh, that was a pretty nice chunk. I think we'll stick with Nightshade. And it doesn't seem to know a uh, water gun yet, which is very good news, actually. Um, it's kind of cheap, I know, but I, I didn't program the Dusclops in the game, so I, um, I'm using what the game gave me, which turns out to be great so far, and that's a hell of a lot of experience. Um, Casper's, Casper's going to get way over at level 9, and he's looking overpowered. Foresight, uh, don't want to learn Foresight. I probably actually should have done that, but... <laughs> Not bad. Long town map. And then these guys roll up and they're like, I thought I was lively around here. You were having a Pokemon battle, huh? Isn't it nice to be young? Who are you? Who am I? I'm the owner of this ranch and this is my wife. Dude, that was pretty rude of uh, Pen15 over there. To be like, who are you? It's like, bitch, I own this place. How about, who the fuck are you? 
you prick. <laughs> and one for you. Wait, what do you give me? Oh, potions. Yay! Great. I'm just trying to give you your freaking map, dude. Hey. Yes, they look a little worn out. Heal them. Alright, um, who should I... Because I don't want to keep Casper in front at level 9. He's already re gearing up for the next battle. Um, I guess we'll throw Fairy up front and switch between him and Eli. And again, as I stated at the very beginning, actually, you know, this is a really good place to end the video. So I think I'm going to do that. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like rating. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode, where we will probably catch new Pokemon, hopefully not lose anyone, and probably take on the gym leader at the end of the next video if uh, I get there in time. So I do hope you guys are going to enjoy this new series. And if you're still watching and are, you do think you're going to enjoy the new series, please consider leaving a like rating, comments, favorites and if you're not already please subscribe um really helps me out and yeah that's all i can say and i'll see you guys later peace